this video, I'll show you four ways that you can enter safe mode from your Windows 10 computer. If you need to troubleshoot an issue with an application, a device driver or an unknown issue, then safe mode is a good place to test. Safe mode will start Windows in a basic state using a limited set of files and drivers. If a problem doesn't happen in safe mode, this means that default settings and basic device drivers aren't causing the issue. So this can help you to narrow down the source of a problem and can help you troubleshoot problems on your PC. There's a few ways to get into safe mode and the first way we're going to try is from the start menu. First, go to the start button and select the power settings. Now when you see the option for restart, you need to hold down the shift key and click the restart option at the same time. After you've clicked restart, you can stop pressing the shift key. This will go ahead and restart your computer, but instead of restarting it in the traditional manner where it will bring you back to the login screen, it will take you into the advanced startup options. From here, go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and startup settings. You'll be able to see that you can get into safe mode from here, so go ahead and select restart. So once that's restarted, you can see that you have a number of options, which include three options for safe mode. Safe mode will load the basic services and device drivers needed to start the operating system. Safe mode with networking adds the network drivers and services you'll need to access the internet and other computers on your network. Safe mode with command prompt is the same as safe mode, apart from it doesn't load the GUI and goes straight into command prompt by default. For this demo, we'll go ahead and select option 4 to enable safe mode. This will start to load safe mode. You can then log in when prompted. After you've logged in, the resolution will probably look different to what you're used to seeing, but again, this is because it's only loading basic drivers, so it will be using Microsoft's default display driver. You can also tell you're in safe mode as this will be shown in the four corners and it will show the Windows build details at the top. Once you've finished in safe mode, you can go ahead and restart the computer. This will bring you back to your normal login screen where you can log back in. The second way you can get into safe mode is from the settings menu. Go to Start, Settings, Update and Security, and Recovery. Now under Advanced Startup, this allows you to restart your computer so we can get into the Windows Startup settings. So select Restart Now. Go to Troubleshoot. Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and Restart. So you can see the same Startup Settings menu. Select Option 4 again to enable Safe Mode. Log in again. And now you can see we're back in Safe Mode. So once you've finished in safe mode, you can go ahead and restart the computer. This will follow the same process as before and reboot your computer back to the normal login screen along with all the correct drivers and settings. And we'll log back in. Okay, now we're back in Windows again. The third way to get into safe mode is to go to start and search for MS config and then open the system configuration app. This is a system configuration utility in Windows which allows you to change a number of settings to boot options, services and startup settings. If you go to the boot tab you can see at the bottom of the window you can tick the safe boot option. We can leave the minimal radio button selected as well. This will set Windows to reboot into safe mode. Once that's done you can select OK it will let you know that the system configuration has been changed and needs to restart your computer to apply these changes. I'll go ahead and select restart. 
If you have programs or other files open, then select exit without restart. Close these down first and then restart your computer from the start menu. So you can see this time it doesn't bring us into the startup settings window, but brings us straight to the safe mode login prompt. And when you log in, you can see we're in safe mode. When you've finished troubleshooting in safe mode, you need to go back into the system configuration utility by going to the start menu and search for MS config and open system configuration. Go to the boot tab and untick the safe boot option. If you don't do this, then Windows will continue to boot into safe mode every time you start your computer. Let's select OK. Again, if you have applications open, then select exit without restart. Once you've closed all windows and applications, go ahead and restart your computer from the start menu. When restarted, you can log back into Windows. The next way to get into safe mode is from boot up and by getting into the automatic repair mode. To get into the automatic repair mode, Windows 10 needs to have two unsuccessful attempts to load Windows. To simulate this, power on your computer and when you see the Windows logo starting to load, power off the computer. Do this two times. On the third boot, it will then go into automatic repair mode and try to diagnose if there's any problems with your computer. From here, it will tell you that your PC did not start correctly. So let's go to advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options, and startup settings, and select restart. And again, we'll select option four from the startup settings. This will load the login prompt, so we'll go ahead and log in with our details. And there you go, that's logged us back into safe mode where we can troubleshoot any issues that appear to be happening on the computer. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.